the Alvaro de Bazan class, also known as the F-100 class, stands as the epitome of modern European frigates within the Spanish Navy. It distinguishes itself as the most advanced frigate of European origin, centered around the Aegis combat system. Comprising five ships, this class not only serves as a symbol of technological prowess, but also marks a significant milestone for the Spanish naval industry, as it represents a departure from traditional weapon systems. The Alvaro de Bazan class is primarily designed as an air defense frigate, excelling in this role. However, its versatility extends to various other missions, including anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, and land attack capabilities. This adaptability aligns with the evolving military requirements of the Spanish Navy. The genesis of this formidable warship can be traced back to the Joint Frigate Development Program proposed by some NATO countries in the 1960s. The initiative gained momentum when a research group was established in 1979. Feasibility studies commenced in 1981, coinciding with Spain's entry into NATO in 1982. Spain joined the NATO Frigate Replacement for the 90s, NFR-90 program in 1983, uniting with seven other participant countries, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, the UK, and the USA. However, due to divergent agendas and requirements, the collaboration disintegrated swiftly. In 1993, Germany, the Netherlands, and Spain took the initiative to establish the Trilateral Frigate Cooperation Program. This arrangement allowed participant countries to individually design their vessels while sharing common weapons and electronic systems. Nevertheless, discrepancies in naval capabilities and priorities surfaced. Spain, possessing a light aircraft carrier, had distinct requirements for fleet air defense, differing from the needs of Germany and the Netherlands. The latter two nations did not operate similar vessels and their focus was on an independent approach. Consequently, Spain withdrew from the program in 1995. Once the vessel design had reached completion, Madrid took the decision to integrate the Aegis combat system onto the ship in 1996, subsequently granting authorization for the construction phase in 1997. These newly designed ships were intended to replace the Spanish Navy's Baleras-class frigates, which were a locally modified version of the U.S. Knox class. The inaugural ship of the Alvaro de Bazan class, named Alvaro de Bazan, had its keel laid on June 14, 1999, was launched on October 31, 2000, and commissioned on September 19, 2002. Initially, Spain had plans to construct six Alvaro de Bazan class frigates. However, the economic crisis led to the cancellation of the last two vessels. In 2007, the construction of the fifth ship, Cristobal Colon, was authorized. This frigate, featuring some improvements compared to its predecessor, had its keel laid on June 29, 2007, was launched on November 4, 2010, and commissioned on October 23, 2012. Spain follows a naming convention for its warships based on the first digits of the pennant number of the leading vessel. The Baleras and Santa Maria class frigates were designated as the F-70 and F-80 classes, respectively. Upon joining the NFR-90 program, Spain designated the new ship as the F-90 class. Consequently, the Alvaro de Bazan class is also identified as the F-100 class by the Spanish Navy. This class represents a milestone for the Spanish Navy, as it incorporates the ballistic-resistant AH-36 high-strength steel in the hull making it the first modern vessel with such capabilities. The ship boasts an angled stealth design, featuring a low freeboard on the stern deck. The superstructure's profile does not align with the deck line, and a pronounced bulge is present on the bow. With four decks and 13 main bulkheads, each deck is equipped with an independent filtration and air conditioning system. This design enhances damage control capability and provides protection against NBC nuclear, biological, chemical threats. In this specific area, local bulkheads extend to the upper structure to support the weight of the AN-SPY-1D radar. The machinery is mounted on anti-vibration mounds to reduce acoustic signatures. The front machine room propels the starboard shaft, while the aft, AF machine room drives the port shaft. Each generator room houses two generators. A fin stabilizer not only diminishes the acoustic signature, 
but also enhances sea-keeping capabilities. To reduce infrared signatures, exhaust gases are released into the atmosphere after being cooled. The Alvaro de Bazan class was designed with an additional 450-ton margin to facilitate future modernizations and the integration of possible new systems. The flight deck, measuring 26.4 meters in length and 17 meters in width, is supported by a recovery assistance securing and traversing system. The Spanish Navy utilizes the Alvaro de Bazan class with SH-60 Seahawk helicopters. The Cristobal Colon has an enlarged hangar and flight deck, enabling it to operate NH-90 helicopters in addition. According to the Spanish Navy's official website, the complement of the Alvaro de Bazan class is 216 personnel. The ship has a length of 146 out of 760 meters, with a fully loaded displacement of about 5,150 tons. The combined diesel or gas configuration propulsion system comprises two 23,164 horsepower General Electric LM2500 gas turbines and two 6,120 horsepower BAN Bravo Caterpillar 3i600 diesel engines. The top speed of the Alvaro de Bazan class is 28 knots, with a range of 8,534 kilometers, approximately 4,500 nautical miles. Unlike the first four vessels, Cristobal Colon's fully loaded displacement is 6,391 tons, with improved diesel engines providing a higher top speed. The frigate is equipped with a 1,140 horsepower retractable bow thruster for port operations. The first four vessels are equipped with the standard Aegis combat system, while Cristobal Colon features the ES Coma combat management system, a variant of the Aegis modified to meet the Spanish Navy's requirements. Initially, the first four vessels had the SPY-1D Baseline S-1 radar, equivalent to the U.S. Baseline 6 Phase 1. Later, these radars were upgraded to the Baseline S-2 standards, similar to the U.S. Baseline 6 Phase 2. Consequently, the frigates gained ballistic missile detection and tracking, joint engagement, SM-2, Block 3B air defense, and Tomahawk cruise missile firing capabilities. Embark on an enriching adventure with Bulldog Audits News, where every piece of information is a treasure trove waiting to be explored. Your decision to join us on this historic journey is a testament to your quest for knowledge. To amplify your engagement, ensure you never miss a beat by subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you not only stay updated with the latest insights, but also become an integral part of our community. The more, the merrier. Spread the excitement further by expressing your appreciation. Hit the like button and share this valuable content across your social media landscape. Let's create waves of awareness and curiosity together. Your involvement makes the narrative richer, and we're thrilled to have you on board for what promises to be an exhilarating expedition with Bulldog Audits News. If you have any information you'd like to share with the community, please feel free to do so in the comments below. The modernization efforts have endowed these frigates with enhanced capabilities, including a lower elevation functionality for the bow gun, reduced reaction time, and multi-missile layered missile defense features. Cristobal Colon's Aegis Baseline S3 combat system, featuring the AN Spy 1DV radar and advanced computer architecture, is equivalent to the US Baseline 7. This upgrade has bolstered cooperative engagement, tactical ballistic missile defense, littoral water combat capabilities, and resistance against electronic warfare. All frigates are equipped with the ANS PJ-62 fire control radar. However, the first four vessels are fitted with the U.S. SPS-67V surface search radar and NSSPS-73 navigation radars. In contrast, Cristobal Colon features the locally developed ARS radar for both functions. Although the Alvaro de Bazan class possesses the capability for the RIM-66 msm 2 Block 3B air defense and Tomahawk cruise missile firing, the Spanish Navy has yet to acquire these capabilities. The frigates are equipped with a 48-cell Mark 41 vertical launching system carrying 36 RIM 66 L SM tow, MR Block 3A and 48 RIM 162 ESSM air defense missiles. The semi-active radar-guided SM2 MR Block 3A has a range exceeding 160 km and a top speed of Mach 3.5. The RIM 162 ESSM has a range of 50 km and a top speed of Mach 4. The Alvaro de Bazan class is armed with eight RGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missiles, 
featuring a 221.50 Kion semi-armor piercing warhead with a range of 124 km and a maximum speed of Mach 0.85. Plans are underway to replace these missiles with the Naval Strike Missile, NSM, a land attack capable anti-ship missile with a top speed of Mach 0.95 and a range exceeding 185 km. The NSM is equipped with a 125 kilos high explosive blast fragmentation warhead and a high resolution passive imaging infrared seeker, employing advanced software for independent detection, identification, and discrimination of ships. The NSM's autonomous targeting capability eliminates the need for pre targeting before launch. The Spanish Navy initially intended to outfit the Alvaro de Bazan class frigates with 76 mm compact guns. However, they ultimately equipped these ships with the 127mm Mark 45s, repurposed from the U.S. Navy's Tarawa-class amphibious assault ships and upgraded to the M2 standards. This gun boasts an effective range of 23 kilometers against surface targets and 15 kilometers against air targets. While the initial plan was to fit the ships with domestically produced Maragging Close-In Weapon Systems, CIWS, this plan never came to fruition. The first four vessels are armed with two 20 mm guns, while Cristobal Colón is equipped with two 25 mm guns. The Alvaro de Bazan class features the hull-mounted D1160LF active and passive sonar, along with two Mark 32 Mod 9 twin torpedo launchers loaded with Mark 46 Mod 5 torpedoes for anti-submarine warfare missions. The 324 Miners Mark 46 Mod 5 torpedo has a range of 9.25 kilometers and a speed of 45 knots. In 2005, the Spanish Navy deployed the Alvaro de Bazan to the Persian Gulf, marking the first deployment of a Spanish warship as part of a U.S. aircraft carrier battle group. Two years later, the ship sailed to Australia, becoming the first Spanish warship to visit the country in 150 years. In 2019, the Mendez Nunez became the first Spanish naval vessel to visit the Philippines since the Battle of Manila Bay during the Spanish-American War in 1898. The frigates of this class played a crucial role in the 2011 NATO military intervention in Libya and have flown the Spanish flag in various anti-terrorism and anti-piracy operations across the Mediterranean Red Sea, Gulf of Aden, and Indian Ocean. Additionally, the Bla de Lezo became part of an international task group for counter-narcotic operations in the Caribbean Sea. The Alvaro de Bazan and Mendez DZ frigates have been actively involved in patrols and air defense exercises around the Canary Islands. They have also participated in numerous multinational exercises in strategically significant areas like the Black Sea and the Baltic Sea. Spain, despite not joining NATO until 1982, had been part of the Western Bloc since the signing of the U.S.-Spanish Defense Agreement in 1953. This accord granted certain privileges to Madrid leading to the construction of locally adapted variants of the Knox and Oliver Hazard Perry class frigates. Maintaining these privileges, the Spanish Navy continued collaboration with the USA rather than European nations. In contrast to previous projects where Spain modified existing US ships, the Alvaro de Bazan class showcased the country's ability to design its own vessel, marking a significant advancement for the Spanish naval industry. This situation proved mutually beneficial as the international market demanded frigate-sized Aegis warships, a capability the USA did not possess but could offer through Spain. As a result, countries like Australia and Norway preferred variants of the Alvaro de Bazan class. While separate videos will cover the Hobart-class destroyers and Fridjof Nansen-class frigates, it's noteworthy that the Alvaro de Bazan class combines the excellent combat capabilities of the Aegis system with the cost advantages of a frigate compared to a destroyer. The only drawback is the absence of a close-in weapon system, CIWs, but this can be easily incorporated based on demand, as demonstrated in the Australian sale. Despite falling behind in the frigatey market internationally, the USA, thanks to its enduring partnership, can market the Aegis system through Spain. Simultaneously, Spain can offer its own ship without the complexities of European partnerships, which have proven challenging for business at times. In this context, the Alvaro de Bazan class epitomizes a successful cooperation benefiting both countries. Thank you for watching our video, and please consider subscribing to our channel.
clicking the bell button for notifications, and using the join button to support us. Your likes, comments, and shares are always appreciated.